So, it's <laughs> Sunday morning, and uh, we haven't checked out the hotel yet because we don't want to go back to reality just quite yet. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a top-down day when we leave downtown, so I can't wait. So, we're still going to keep having some fun. So we decided to um, go to Panera Bread and get a bagel and some other stuff and go back to the square and sit down and chill out for just a few minutes before um, we do whatever else it is we want to do today. That building right there, that's called the Karoo Tower. It's um, one of the tallest, if not the tallest, building in Cincinnati. You can actually go up top there and overlook the city. Some kind of old safe they got on display. I guess it was a safe they used when they um, first had the hotel. It's kind of cool looking. Would you like to play some chess? All right, so we are checked out. We're gonna do a little drive. We got the top down, top down day, and we're gonna just have some fun exploring a little bit. Booyah! This is what boring adult people do. So on our journey down the Ohio River, we got sidetracked by a... Uh, Classic flea market. A flea market, so we're gonna check it out. That Santa right there looked like it's seen some better days for sure. Because I was the only one that had driver's license. Huh. <laughs> Jimmy didn't get driver's license until Jimmy was born. I wonder how long it'll be before no one even knows what that is. My buddy Rob goes there early in the morning, gets some great deals and stuff. I bet if you get in here early, I bet it is some um, good toy deals. I may have to come with him one time early morning and see if I can get some good deals. In another grand adventure, we decided to go off by California Nature Trails. We thought we could do like a little driving thing, but it is just actual trails, but it's pretty. We may have to come back here and walk some trails. Yes. Okay. Trying to hit the old people on the side of the road. Exactly. <laughs> Looks like some sort of castle on the it's across the river over there in uh, Kentucky. We're in New Richmond right now. Apparently, they have some kind of cardboard boat regala, and they race it on the river. So we're gonna have to come whenever they have that. We're gonna have to come and check that out because I think that'll be a lot of fun. Going on for a ride along the river today should be nice and pretty. I hope anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Lean over. Lean over? Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking going into this uh, new place. It's called Piatas. It's Italian street food. She's never been, but she loves Italian food, so we're going to check it out. If you don't know what it's like, it's basically like a chipotle except Italian. Yeah. Alright, so I got tomato basil soup, chicken basil pasta, with some kind of garlic bread. Glenn, I got some create your own thing, side salad, and water. Lunch. A little bit later on tonight, we're going to be going to uh, All right, as you saw, I am encoding today's video because, um, as I've stated previously, I don't have a laptop, so I can't do any kind of editing and stuff like that when we're out and about. So, so I say so a lot, and I really need to stop that. Maybe that could be some kind of drinking game. Every time I say so in a vlog video, someone has to take a shot. All right, so Glenna woke up from her nap, finally, <laughs> and uh, now we're going to go to Jungle Gems, which is kind of a um, international grocery store. Yeah, and it's awesome because it's got like everything that you could ever possibly want. It's not like a normal grocery store. It's like a grocery store on steroids. So we're going to go there, pick up a few things for this week, and then um, head back home. gems.
I like jicama. What is it? Uh, how do I describe this? It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, but it tastes really good with other stuff. It's very crunchy. Great Kitchen Secrets by Chef Tony. Hey, Chef Tony. All right, well, I'm going to end today's vlog. Not really hungry. We kind of ate like a late breakfast, and then we had um, a pretty decent-sized lunch, and I'm just not really hungry at all. So I'm going to chill out for the rest of the night, relax, and get ready to go back to work tomorrow, back to reality. But I had a great time this weekend. Love spending just time with me and my wife. After 23 years of marriage, she's still my best friend. Almost almost 23 years of marriage. Thanks everyone, everyone have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. What do you do with your spouse, just you and her, that, that's just for you guys? What do you try to do for just you guys? Just kind of curious. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see everyone later, bye.